Most people in the world are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. Good people of America who are actually natural citizens understand that America is built and based on laws. The whole premise that America came into existence in terms of our history and our inheritance is because people fled England to in search of God. They wanted the right to pursue happiness. They wanted the right to have land. They wanted the right to have their family not being abused by a feudal lord who was doing things ill-willed at hand. They also want to know what is and isn't truthful. They didn't like the rhetoric that was coming out of newspapers. They didn't like the foolishness of what they were being told through the heralds. And they openly really wanted to study and participate in God's family. Meaning they wanted to be able to pursue their religion. They wanted to be able to practice their faith without being in trouble with the Lord of the land. So when we talk about that, we have to really base the fact that America was built on that foundation, that the pilgrims came here to start over again, that the Indians th thankfully saved us or we would have been obliterated as a race, and the Indians would have been amongst us today. But what people do is they conquer things, and when they conquer things, they often leave things in the dust. They often eliminate and obliterate things, like us. But what I'm worried about the most is this new premise of shows we see on television and YouTube and on gaming things we get online is that people feel this attitude is, I will do whatever I want to until I get caught. Or I'll do whatever I want to because I can't get caught. Or I'll do whatever I want to you because I just feel like it. Because I wanna. Just like a five-year-old. Not willing to record other people's human rights. You see, a human person who's being assaulted in the day has half a chance, if he can, if he's able, if he's physically able to do so, to defend himself, to verbally rebuke someone who wants to piss all over them and call them names and stalk them and then threaten to hit them and whatnot. But a person who is sleeping, a person who is at peace, a person who is meditating doesn't always have that chance, especially if they're sleeping. If a predator is bothering you when you're sleeping, but you're sound asleep and can't see it, and can't feel it, and can't know it, then how do you say no to it? 